Defensive coordinator Mike Hankowitz is with us now. Hank, you guys had to get better on defense last year, and you did, dramatically so. What was the biggest difference? What changed? At the end of uh, the 2011 season, from the Nebraska game on, we played much better. We fixed our problems. We executed better. We got ourselves in the right position, and guys started making plays, and we became more aggressive, and we were able to build on that experience coming into last season. And even though the opener, we – we let them back in the game with some big plays. We then started getting back and playing better each week. And uh, I think they developed more confidence and we got more aggressive as we went along. Hank, as you studied the, the problems, what, what were some of the problems that you had to fix? And well, at the beginning of 11, we, were, we weren't executing as a team. We'd have a guy out of position and then you give up big plays. We were giving up too many big plays. It's a thing where we try to appeal to them. Look, guys, we're beating ourselves. We're not making them out execute us because we're not communicating. We're not communicating, therefore, we're not executing. And we dialed it back just a little because we said, well, if we're giving them too much, then that's our fault. So we gave them just a little less. And then we started executing, and they started understanding how that could make a big difference. Well, part of that execution was the takeaways and winning the takeaway battle. Uh, what are some of the things you did in practice and some of the things you're doing in practice now to continue that streak? We worked hard on finishing plays, and, uh, you know, the Chicago Bears do a great job of taking the ball away. And Jerry Brown was saying, you know, that Peanut Tillman, that guy is always going after the ball. So we took a couple highlights off and showed how he goes and punches the ball, and he called it the peanut punch, and he's, our guys started working on it, and it helped us. We got it. We probably caused three fumbles, just guys seeing what he did and understanding how he went for the ball, if he wasn't involved in the tackle or once he secured the tackle. And guys, once you get one guy have some success doing it, then all of a sudden the other guys say, man, I could do that too. And then we created some interceptions with some pressure. And so now we've got something we can build on. And, you know, we, our goal is to build on that takeaway mentality. But you've got to work at it. It just, just doesn't happen. You can't just talk it. You've got to practice it. And we're, we're seeing some results this fall, and we've got to keep seeing them as we go along. Hank, what's the biggest thing you want to get accomplished in training camp to defense? We want to get our aggressiveness to fundamentally sound, expose them to as much of our adjustments and our game plan, you know, things that we do as a, on a game-to-game -game basis as possible. So that we go into the season and we get to a team and we have to use adjustment C, check this, check that. We've already done it. And we may not be perfect at it, but we've done it enough that they at least have seen it, understand most of the problems, and then we got a chance to execute it in the game. You guys have a, a lot of athleticism in the back half of that defense, talking about the secondary. Could you assess that to this point? Uh, well, one of our goals a couple of years ago was to recruit better team speed, and we've s slowly been accomplishing that. You know, Chi-Chi Aragus is a prime example. Chi-Chi was a safety in high school. Colin Ellis was a safety in high school. Those guys are athletic linebackers. And then we're starting to get some size back there with Travion Henry. Ibrahim Campbell was a running back, running back DB, and wanted to play DB. We were excited he wanted to play DB, you know. And so he's very athletic and great hands, and he's developed into a heck, you know, very physical player. Nick Van Hoos was an excellent all-around athlete, track, basketball, excellent basketball player. You know, Randy Bates found a guy there that, you know, wasn't highly recruited, but he saw that athleticism and that competitiveness, and he's got a knack for the ball. And so we're starting to get more of that, and then we're getting better competition too, you know. And Jim Hall, Jim Hall is a, one of the best athletes on our team, one of the fastest guys we got, and he's got size. And so we're not starting to get bigger, faster guys, which, you know, any – when you got guys that can run and are willing to hit, you got a chance to be pretty damn good. Coach Tyler Scott had a real breakout year for you defensively last year. Who can do something similar this year? Well, Deontay Gibson uh, showed us some things last year, and then he was kind of nicked up, and we held him out of the spring, and he's back feeling healthy. Uh, Sean McEvely came on as the year went along, and we're expecting big things out of him. And Chi-Chi, you know, if he can build on what he did last year, but Jim Hall is another guy that we played in the bowl game as a nickel guy and made some plays, and you're going to see him on the field. Defensive coordinator Mike Hankwitz. Thanks a lot, Coach. You bet, guys.